friends and nice to see you all here again uh, today we continue to work on our tunic in total we will have few lessons i don't know exactly how many maybe four maybe five uh, but today we start lesson number two about a very nice process how to join this uh, really uh, gorgeous motifs first uh, where you can find scheme for creating blouse uh, for this tunic in our free crochet patterns group in this group we have uh, uh, so so many beautiful elements already so this is a really nice group i think for every Everyone who love to crochet and I want to show you this group how it looks and the link uh, for this group you will find below this video if you are watching YouTube channel uh, so this is our free crochet patterns group and how to find all beautiful elements and also very, very easily work in, in our group you need to press photos after here you have three options photos albums and videos you need to choose albums because each album has only one motive or maybe lace and you will cre clearly see everything photos and scheme only for this one motive in our case we have first yes first lesson about our tunique this is uh, you can see now this album and we have here scheme for our main motive also a uh, few photos yes also presentation uh, Lynn is making this blouse in three colors she made transition of colors fantastic work so also you can watch these photos and just uh, take inspiration from here and create your own variant like this also information about second lesson you will find in this album at the same album you will have all necessary information about tunique so visit our free crochet patterns group one more time it looks like this free crochet patterns by jetty house crochet school our school school so here you can find a lot of beautiful motifs I think we have more than 45 interesting big elements you will find their schemes also you can find uh, our uh, workshops record of workshops at our youtube channel so like this and now continue to show you my small lesson for today uh, so now we will talk about our lace and uh, we will use standard stitches chain loops single crochet i think that's all <laughs> maybe picots and crochet hook i'm using 1.75 millimeters i'm using white italian viscose and also needle with big eye we will need because we will have a lot of tails to hide not so many but we will have few tails in this tunic and um, now you can see at the right side we have our motif that we learned it at the first lesson how to make it uh, the scheme is very nice uh, very easy and it's a really big pleasure to work uh, with such motifs and next uh, at the left side you can see um, this fantastic lace that you will receive when you will join uh, yes uh, all your elements uh, just maybe you will start to see when you will join four, four elements like this uh, what is very nice in this work just during um, work first element you need to finish you will have first element you can hide tails and iron by steam iron this motif next uh, you need uh, to start second element and during the work when you will make last row you will make joinings to the first motif and now i will show you how to ma uh, make such joinings uh, everything is very simple here just let me show you a few photos uh, how it looks uh, like you can see uh, during uh, this process you will receive very interesting grids between elements uh, i know it's not difficult to make them but they look really uh, look uh, gorgeous interesting and not so simple i think uh, we like um, we, re we just received lace uh, this lace looks like small flower uh, small leaves yes uh, very solid leaves and between them uh, really uh, interesting grids and also we have small flowers in the middle so uh, this um, lace that we received i love very much and uh, especially this joinings and we will learn how to join today this to a few elements so um, also a few photos closer you will see how beauty <laughs> is this grid and also Lynn she's, uh, she, uh, she's making this uh, tunic in three colors so uh, her work is uh, much more interesting you will see also the result and you know Lynn is helping me because I am making one size she is making a little bit bigger size and today I will show you two schemes how you can join motifs to receive um, medium size and bigger size and you will see um, all these uh, schemes you will choose what you need for your work and one more information Yolanta Matsen asked me very nice question 
so uh, she asked me what size I have of my elements. Yes, and I measure it. We have uh, 19 centimeters. How to show you? From one corner to another corner, we have uh, here 19 centimeters. In my case, I think uh, nice to know because you can cal calculate how many elements you need. Uh, to receive the size of tunic that you need. It should be loose, not tight, this tunic. It should be loose, it's summer tunic, it just it should be in bigger size. And now about a scheme. So first I want to show you how to join a few elements and next will be scheme. Okay, so let me show you my hands. Now uh, we can join to motifs. I have first motif, it's ready. I hide tails and I stretch and iron it by using steam iron. So everything is ready here. Now I can take second motif. And I now I am working at the last row. Yes, I fix thread by pin. And uh, you can see I have here how many... Fr starting from here we have one side, second side, third and now I almost finish it side number four. Uh, it will be... it depends from uh, what part of tunic you are making. In this moment I just need one side because to the first motive I can join only to the one side in this moment. So we will make joining between these two motives. So at the corners we have like you know three picots. We will uh, make first joining at this middle picot. So let's start to work on it. I will remove pin and now in this moment I need to make uh, okay, let me see. Two stitches more, and after two stitches around the arch. So two double crochet, one, and second one to the next stitch. And now around this chain I will make first one and second one. After we have pico from three chain loops. One, two, three. Now finish to make pico. Now one more double crochet, and now we should make this middle pico. How it looks? I will make one chain loop. Next, I will need to take this motif, but be careful. I think it's really nice to make it everything accurate. So you need to take the same si uh, sides. If you have, for example, this is your wrong side. So at the same, I will I will take wrong side of second motif like this. In this case we will join uh, the same side uh, in these two motifs. Now I have one chain loop. I will join hook to the middle of... just insert hook to the middle. And it looks like I will make single crochet. One more time, we'll show you slowly. Insert hook to the middle of picot, yarn over, make a loop. Now I have two loops on my hook, yarn over and join together. Next, one more chain loop and that's all. We will we will think about this like we have here now three chain loops. We have one chain loop, single crochet, one chain loop. Next, like we uh, standard picot, like you finish standard picot, insert hook below two threads, yarn over and finish to make picot. Next, one double crochet around the same chain. After uh, the last picot, three chain loops, finish to make picot and one more double crochet around the same around the same arch. So we made first joining. Looks like this. And now we continue to work. Uh, we need to make this part. Let me see one more time. Three stitches, yes. I need to make. Okay, step by step, three stitches. One two and three stitches we have okay uh, now uh, from this point pico from three chain loops one two three finish to make pico after seven chain loops but uh, we will make a joinings during this three arches that we have here you can see at this ready motif we have three arches so all the time we will join to the middle chain. We have seven, so this will be one, two, three to the fourth, joining to the fourth, and here the same. So you need to make three, one, two, three chain loops, take at the same side our motif, and just one, two, three, one, two, three to the fourth, make a joining by single crochet next to 
one, two, three chain loops more, and the first arch is ready. You need to join it to this previous row, also to the middle. One, two, three, to the fourth. Let me see. One, two, three, fourth. Okay. Make single crochet. Now again, one, two, three chain loops. Take next arch and make joining to the fourth chain loop and again three chain loops more and join one two three to the fourth chain loop at this arch and in this way we join it just this arches it looks really nice <laughs> i hope you will enjoy it it's very easy to join uh, next again the last one one two three to the fourth make joining by single crochet one two three chain loops and now continue to work here so uh, okay we have pico also here so we have three chain loops and next one two three chain loops make pico and after pico like always i like to make one chain next from here we need to skip three stitches and join to the fourth of previous row make double crochet one two three okay uh, next again we have this corner so i will uh, work here and make two double crochet around this arch one two next we have one two three chain loops make picot one double crochet and now the middle picot one chain loop take our motif join to the middle of middle picot yes here insert hook yarn over make loop next yarn over and join these two loops. Next one more chain loop and finish to make pico. Insert hook below two threads and make pico. Next one double crochet, next the last pico from three chain loops. Finish to make pico and one more double crochet around the same arch. So we finish it to make three picots at the corner. Now work with this part three double crochet step by step to stitches of previous row. One, two, three uh, now i can fix by a pin just to show you the result because we join it from one corner to another to a second corner we join it one side of our motifs after you iron it you will receive a really gorgeous result i need to show you this on my hand you just need to stretch and iron it you will open this beautiful grid at, at the corners you will have this joining And uh, one second, please. Please write to the chat. Do you like such journeys? And uh, did you understand how to make it? This journey. And now we will talk about. Um, yes, uh, just to show you everything very good, I will show you next motif also. How to join third motif? For example, for two walls and. In this case, you will see everything, yes, how to work. Uh, sometimes, uh, yes, now in this moment, uh, we will join a uh, third element to these two sides, to the first element and to the second one. Maybe sometimes you will have even more uh, third element and you will uh, work, now I will work with two sides, maybe you will work with three sides. So, before you finish each next element, you need to know how many sides you need to uh, just leave without last row and uh, this uh, row or this sides you will finish just during your work during this journeys so think before where you will join this motif how many sides you need uh, good so now we can start work with one more motif and um, I will use this two sides because there I have pin and all, all the time work, uh, think where you have uh, front side in each motif. Uh, join all elements at the same side. If you have here front side, take new motif also. Take uh, in the right direction your front side. Okay, so I have this element. In this uh, motif, I just started to make last row. We have just beginning and only first side is almost ready. 
I think it's the most right work because uh, you leave five sides uh, and in this way uh, you will use this element for any uh, variants where you have a lot of sides to join. Okay, next. Julia, do you iron motifs before joining or iron after joining? Uh, just uh, for course, I need to, to iron them to show you better how everything looks. It's better to show. Uh, but if I work in real life, I think I j join, for example, 12 motifs can, can, I can join. And only after this I will um, iron and stretch everything. But uh, for my advice, when you start, when you just start to join a few elements, it's better to start with iron motifs. In this way you will not make mistakes, you will understand everything, and after you can join a lot of motifs without, without ironing. It will be really nice. Just first two motifs you can iron, to see clearly all stitches, all arches. Uh, great, so now let's see how to join one more motif and uh, now near to the corner so first i will make uh, two stitches around yes two double crochet and next picot from three chain loops finish to make first picot make one more double crochet thank you i see thank you too now the middle picot one chain loop uh, now i will take you know, I want to show you this corner, so I will start from another corner and we will... Um, let me show you this part. And we will work from one corner to this one and also join to this corner. So we will have two sides. Uh, now I will join to the middle, so I take uh, the right side. I see I have here wrong side and here I have... Um, yes face of my work so I need to turn it in this way and now I will have wrong side here and also wrong side at this motif everything now is okay uh, now take uh, this corner insert hook to the middle of this picot yarn over and make loop now I have two loops on my hook yarn over and join them this will be like single crochet next one more chain loop insert hook here below two threads and we can finish like standard picot yarn over and draw through all these loops now make one more double crochet and start to make last picot from three chain loops and the last double crochet around the same arch so I finish it to join these two uh, corners just by using middle picots now three double crochet continue to work one two we double crochet we have and uh, now I will make this picot that we have on the scheme 1, 2, 3 picot from 3 chain loops uh, now what we have 3 and after scheme uh, uh, 7 chain loops 1, 2, 3 we just need to make half of this uh, chain 3 chain loops take our motif and to the first chain Count chain loops 1, 2, 3 to the fourth, make single crochet next 1, 2, 3 chain loops and join to this element where, where we are making last row. So 1, 2, 3, 4 to the fourth, to the middle of this big chain, make also single crochet. Again the same 1, 2, 3 chain loops 1, 2, 3, 4 to the fourth, single crochet 1, 2, 3 and join. One, two, three, four. Join by single crochet. And last time, three chain loops, join to the last arch by single crochet, three chain loops. And now uh, just skip three stitches and make. Ah, sorry, we have all the time, I forget about this picot. One, two, three. Make the picot. And don't forget to make one more chain after this. Uh, next, skip three stitches and make three double crochet step by step one two three and now we'll have a second corner again start from two double crochet one two one two three chain loops first picot next one double crochet and start to make middle picot and make joining during the work so one chain loop this will be beginning now i take corner that we have already here joined two motifs we will join to the same point 
Uh, we will join. Let me see. I will show you now how to join this corner. In this, uh, I joined it one point, and I received really delicate joining. So, once again, to the same pico where I made first joining. I like this variant. I just try a few variants. So I join it to the same picot where I made first single crochet. So take the same picot and make here single crochet like this. After one more chain and finish to make picot from switching loops. One double crochet around the same arch. Switching loops and last picot I made. Next one double crochet. Okay, so continue to work here now. Three stitches, one, two, three. After picot we have one, two, three chain loops, make picot and start to make three chain loops and joining to this second side of another motif. I will use first arch, one, two, three, to the fourth chain, make joining by single crochet. Okay, next one, two, three, and make joining to this arch to the fourth chain loop to the middle. One, two, three, and join also to the middle. One, two, three, to the fourth chain. Make single crochet. One, two, three, and now also join one, two, to the fourth chain loop. One, two, three. And join mm -hmm. to this arch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Sorry. And uh, now I need to make this picot. I'll always forget about it. <laughs> one. So we have three chain loops. Catch the last chain. Make one, two, three chain loops. But insert hook to the third that we made in the beginning. So finish to make picot and one more chain loop. That's all. Next skip three stitches and make three double crochet. One, two. Hello all, I see pro from Linda. Hello Linda, nice to see you. We are just we have lesson about joining two motifs for tunique, for summer tunique. During the work, when you are making last row in the motif, you can make joinings. So we don't, make, don't need to make connecting seams. It's really nice. Now I am making a corner, a joining at the corner to double crochet, picot from switching loops. This will be first picot. One double crochet and start to make middle picot. So one chain loop. And after take this corner, insert hook to the middle of this middle picot, second picot that we have at the corner. Yarn over, make loop. We have two loops, join them, and next one chain loop more. Finish to make like standard picot. Insert hook below two threads and make it. Next one double crochet, the last third picot at the corner, three chain loops, finish to make picot and one more double crochet. Next make three stitches step by step. One, two, and three. So I will use pin just to show you how it looks. We join it now two sides. Third element I join it to two sides of previous two motifs. So you saw everything how to make joinings at the corner of these elements. Also you can see now this beautiful grid that I received between motifs. So we have first part like this, second part and third. At this side. So um, everything you should make not tight, uh, starting from elements, not tight, middle tensional thread, accurate work here, Not do not make tight these joinings uh, because they should be loose when you will stretch and iron them, everything will be nice, uh, you will receive great result, a beautiful lace. Uh, so now let's talk about uh, sizes about schemes, how to join these elements and, and receive beautiful summer tunic. Very soon we will have summer and it's really nice variant to create a beautiful and not difficult summer, uh, summer tunic. So let's choose schemes for our tunics and let's talk more about joinings. Okay. Hello from Ophelia. Hello Ophelia, nice to see you. 
from Linda, wonderful, great, <laughs> thank you for comments. So let me show you. First variant, it's uh, my variant, I am making such size, also with small sleeves. So uh, we have here, you will receive small sleeves that they will not be tied. In my case I have one motif 19 cm, so uh, this uh, will be 38 cm for arm, so it's not small, uh, will be loose. Uh, and in, for this variant we need 22 motifs. In this moment I divide this scheme for two parts. So first part I am I'm making 12 motifs and during the work I am making these two rows. Each row in circle have si has six elements. So you can uh, join, for example, first row from six motifs. You will have first element, join to this element second, next join third, fourth and go to in the circle fives you will have symmetrically and the last one. Yes, you will have first row, but this row will be joining in circle, join it. Uh, next, you take and uh, start to make second row, and uh, this time, when you will finish uh, element number 7, you will uh, see that you need to join to these two walls, first one and second one, yes, during the last row. When you will finish this joining, you start to make element number 8, and this time you need to make joining to, this, to three sides, first one, second one, and third. You will make joining, cut the thread, that's all. After, you can take uh, element number 9 and make joining also 1, 2, 3 sides. And like this, go in the circle. And this is my first part. I, I want to join, I'm working, and I almost finish it to make, to join these 12 elements. And I will receive half of this tunic. And they, uh, this all elements, they, will be uh, they all will be joined together. And... Uh, half of tunic will be ready. Just hide tails and iron and stretch it and you will see um, your results, it's the first part. Yes. After, at the next <laughs> lesson, this, this I will prepare for third lesson, this part. And during the lesson I will show you how I will join next element. So I will join these four elements, also at the shoulders, these two motifs. Back side will be the same, just symmetrically. For backside we just need um, four motifs more because these two motifs they I will bend them so half will go to the front side half will go to the back side and you can see this just divided into parts just just to show you this uh, all tunique in total we will use twenty two motifs we will not use half motifs just uh, full motifs like this and. Um, uh, please write to the chat, uh, do you understand how to create, for example, this beginning, uh, six and six motifs? Uh, I, th I think uh, it's not difficult. You will make 12 elements, but during the work you will join them and you will receive uh, this circle from uh, 12, uh, circle from 12 motifs. And uh, after this we will have lesson number third about joining top part. And lesson number four, we will make uh, just edging around the neckline. Okay, yes, I understand from Yolanta, great. But uh, also I want to sh uh, tell you about um, a second variant, uh, because, for example, Yolanta Matson, uh, she's making an element from another thread. So she told me she made element uh, in bigger size. Yes, in this case, if you will have bigger size of motifs, maybe will be enough for you to make such tunic. From 12 motifs this um, size of a tunic will be okay for you. But uh, Lynn is making uh, this tunic from the same Italian viscose, so perhaps she will need um, she, will, she, will, she will use another scheme and she decided to join like this element. She sent me this scheme. Uh, so uh, for example she have here at the first row, only at the first row, eight motifs. I have six motifs, she have um, eight motifs. And uh, two rows will be uh, 16 motifs, like this. So you can uh, choose your variant. Also, if you like maybe something else, you can choose in internet anything you like, any scheme of joining such elements, and uh, try to make it. You, you will choose, because each of you want to make another size, I think. Of this tunic. I will create and Aline will show us this result so 
you will see how it looks. I will create such tunic. I like the length, so in total you can see I have like three rows. One, two and three rows. Yes, I will show you here. One, two, three rows. For me it's okay and the size I already know is okay. I measure it and I know that uh, this will be not small. <laughs> it's okay. Medium size. Also, for sleeves, like I told you, uh, we will have 38 centimeters small sleeves, 38 uh, 30, uh, arm volume, yes, at the top of arm. And also about this, I can measure it now it, and show, uh, tell you I am using Italian Visco, so how many centimeters I received. I'm making this first uh, two rows, 12 elements journey together, so. I can measure this size now and tell you how many we have centimeters. A lot of, I can say, a lot of, it's very loose. Approximate length I will take. Uh, it's like uh, 55 centimeters, so in total two parts, one meter and ten centimeters in my case I have. So, I think it's big size. It's really what I want to receive, loose tunic for summer. And um, I am just watching to the left side because I, uh, I am reading comments. <laughs> I understood perfectly, not difficult to understand. Yes, it's really easy, that's why I like it. Thank you, Linda, for this comment. Uh, from Yolanta, yes, I understand. And from Yolanta, thank you, I understand. Great. Thank you so much for all your uh, support uh, at the chat, for comments uh, that you are talking with me and uh, uh, thank you for now, uh, have a nice uh, Sunday and uh, see you very soon. Uh, so thank you so much and see you very soon and bye bye for now. <laughs>